Okay, today we're going to go over how to do RJ45 crimp ends with this um, Easy RJ Pro uh, crimper. The good thing about this one is that the connectors themselves have little holes in the end which allows the, the wires to go all the way through the connector and come out the end which allows you to double check that you, you had them in the correct order uh, before you actually make the crimp. So um, this 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 particular crimper has a has a, uh, a jacket stripper right here. So what you're going to do is put that through and to about you know two inches, and then you're going to rotate the cable about a full turn. You got to crimp this all the way down for the ratchet to release. So you just you crimp it all the way down, rotate the cable a full turn, and then it'll let go. Um, and then you just kind of pull the pull the cable off. You don't want to do it too many times. You could end up scoring scoring the wires themselves under there. Um, it's nice to have scissors or um, some kind of uh, diagonal cutters just to snip this little this little uh, um, piece of string off. Just makes it look better when you're done. You don't have a piece of string hanging out. Now, as far as the order of the wires goes, there's two kind of standards. Um, this particular crimper has them both uh, listed on here, and the order is kind of as you as you lay the wires out. It's it's left to right. Uh, as it's shown from the top rear of the connector. Um, so we, we, we normally will use the A standard, which um, has you know the blues in the middle and then the oranges right outside of them. So the next thing to do is basically to, to, to lay them out you know, in accordance with that standard. So I, I usually do it from the middle out, um, but it's just personal preference of which way you do it. Um, you're going you're gonna to basically untwist the wires just to the point of where they of where they hit the sheath. So, so blue on the left, blue white on the right, and then on either side of it are the oranges. So orange is to the right and orange white is to the left. <clears throat> and as you're going you just kinda you kinda you hold them with your finger but you don't have to get them really super straight as you go because you'll do that at the end. And then on, on, the, on the far left side are the greens um, so you've got green and then green white and then you've got the browns on the far right side so brown white brown now you can kind of see that it starts with a white and then it goes it, it alternates stripes and solids all the way across so you have um, green white green orange white blue blue white orange brown white brown once you get them in the correct order, you kind of still pinching them at the base. You kind of pull on it and bend them, and pull on it and bend them the other way, and maybe left and right. And as you pull on them and bend them, they straighten out. Um, once you get them to where there's there's a, a nice little stretch of of fairly straight wire, you know, about a half an inch from your thumb, an inch out, then uh, double check that they're in the right order, and then cut them off. Um, on, on the crimper, the very, the very furthest part of the yellow cutter is, is for this purpose, is for just you know, cutting them apart. Um, you don't have to measure this at all, you just want to cut them. I personally like to do it at a tiny bit of an angle, it makes it a little easier I think to put them through the connector. Okay. Um, then you're going to put them into the connector. Now the little, the little prong goes down. So I got green whites on the left and the prong is down on the connector. I'm going to slide them right through. And um, you can see that the cables come out on the end. Um, you don't really want to bend these apart, but you want to double check that they're in the right order. So you've got green, white, green, orange, white, blue, blue, white, orange, brown, white, brown. So that's, that's still in the correct order. They didn't get twisted inside. Then you want to push, push the jacket and the cables in as far as they'll go um, where the jacket the jacket comes just past the little little plastic crimp that's going to push down and hold the jacket. So once they're once they're in there, real nice and good, then you're going to grab the crimper and plug them into the eight pair uh, section of the crimper. You have to wiggle it a little bit. You plug it in all the way until the plastic is basically flush with with the crimper. Then you're going to press it in and and start crimping it down. Once the ratchet engages several clicks, then you can let go of let go of this and do both hands on the crimper to make it easier to go and you press down until it 
is fully down and a little further to, to make sure all the wires come off. Um, if all of them don't cut off, you can wiggle them around. As this blade gets a little dull, they, they stop cutting as, as quite as good. But um, once, once you've got all the wires off, you let go and unplug it and you're done.